Next, this one's kind of complex on the brain, but we're gonna combine the hover slide with the inverted crunch. And just a little word of warning, this requires a lot of flexibility in the front of the hip, so only go to what your body will let you go to. Marcus has pretty open hips, so his may look a little larger than what you're able to do. Always work through that pain-free <coughs> range of motion. Assume the correct spine plank, and always we're gonna engage the transverse abs, then go ahead and hover slide all the way over to one side. Now you're gonna keep your hips level, drop them down towards the floor. What do you feel right there, Marcus? I'm a big stretch. Uh, all right, that's exactly what we want. Now reverse this and go into a crunch. And just do about four slow and four fast on each side. When you're doing this, you're always gonna exhale as you lift. So inhale, now exhale and blow. Good. Again, what he said that he felt was all the way up the whole front of that leg, all the way to the chest. Then we're gonna go over to the other side. So it's kinda like a full body accordion going on over here. Huge lengthen and then big shorten. You're gonna feel it a lot under the ribs. You're gonna feel it in the front of the hip. And squeeze. Make sure that if you line your body up like a railroad track, that you put your hip outside those tracks. Get way over there. Go ahead and fast twitch that. And again, don't fast twitch these mechanics until you really have control over your body. And stop and rest. Excellent.